Hey guys, and welcome back to Hacksnet. We are Hacksaw Elite Skills, and we are playing Point Clicker, or at least for this particular thing. This is a kind of game within the game. It's all right. I'm just buying up grade seven and then we're going to go off to our contract board. I have literally just continued on from the last gaming session. Uh, maybe click somewhere on the screen if you want to see that. But that means that I have got some uh, shells hooked up. You can basically think of these as slave machines for me. They run... Um, they're my botnet. That's what they are. They're my botnet. They, they run DDSs for me. They overload stuff. They, they do things that I need to do and uh, we are currently inside the hacking contract center and we come in here to try and find ourselves some contracts to earn some money well are we earning money i don't see like a money count anywhere uh to earn ourselves some reputation in the hacker community a bit of a strange request this time someone ex Exponentially well, no, someone exponentially well funded asked for some help in investigating a co worker's tablet to see if it's being used for personal matters at work. A cursory poke around the system made it look like they were obsessed with aliens. <clears throat> Might be a really dedicated role playing group or a group of conspiracy theorists? Question mark. Okay, let's, let's do that one. That sounds interesting. Internal investigations. Am I going to need a glove for this? Am I going to need a glove? Hello, civilian! Greeting, citizen. Ah, uh, the XC project has need of your assistance. While strictly a quite an internal matter, there's something I'd personally like to investigate. As I've had suspicions on it for some time. I believe one of the prominent research leads on our science team here may be less productive than she could be. I'd like an outside operative to investigate her tablet and see if anything is out of place or not work related. Our servers use a centralized data storage system that uh, mirrors files by an ID code. I'd like you to investigate the system and reply to me with the, with the code to any file you think might be worth investigating. The files that we're after should have their IDs marked at the top like this. XC project ID blah, 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 where 1111 is the ID we're after. Attached is a direct link to the tablet in question. Ow. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's go over. We, we've got our we've got our uh, botnet up and working. We could probably go around and do it. I mean, like this is like someone's power book. We could use that as a part of our shell network. Though this does start a uh, trace on us, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're here. Let's probe it. Boom. Okay, we've got a proxy and we only need one hack to do it. So I've hit overload on both. This has started this overloading of the proxy. Though it confuses me. I don't I like. I can understand how why you would overload a firewall, but proxy. I'm like, what? Uh, 22 on the SSH crack. Obviously, oh, proxy active. Can't do that yet. Bam. There we go. Awesome. I also like to run the FT. P bounce on 21. I don't think it's going to be required. We only need one for the crack, but that's okay. So if I write port hack, we can get my dictionary hack on the go. I presume that's what's going on here. Like, look, all those words going past. But we found our way in. Is there a trace? There is no trace. Okay, awesome. First thing, scan the network. Nothing. I have literally found nothing on any network recently. This, this is terrible. Uh, so we probed. Let's uh, have a look at the file system. We are trying to find not logs, bins, system x is this is this where we want to be personal penetrator mark one laser rifle flight computers someone's playing um xcom xenogenetics uh they recovered species the recovered species are extremely similar not just in parents but genetic makeup my initial interpretation that uh, they were close clones and may have been may have been inaccurate while the dna between the ent entities are identical perhaps this is a trait common to their species individual differences are purely mental mental blood nervous systems between the species are extremely similar what none of this is uh, project 2133 might be something to do um i mean what is this 4991 yeah, someone's playing XCOM. Look, alloys, UFO power source, Illyrium credits. This Illyrium power device is capable of extending and retracting and extremely durable. Yeah, okay. Uh, like, all of this. All of this needs checking. For, am I, am I going to have to write some stuff? I don't have anything to write down on my pad, on my desk anymore. Uh, okay, so let's try this. Um, 4991. I wish there was an easier way of me keeping notes up here. Maybe we should keep the notes going. Um, okay. Laser rifle, that's uh, one, two, nine, nine. Uh, laser rifles are good. 
Schematics for fabrication are available on Central Engineering Server as 1300. Let's let's just get all of these written down. Um, I, I don't know. 1938. I mean, these have, these have all got to be stuff, right? 2133. Three. I want to know where 1300 is. This, this was a reference here, down here. Um, just having a look around and see if we've got connection to any like main server or anything like that. No, I don't, I don't see any problems here. Okay, so that's probably everything we're going to get out of this, I think. Do you guys see anything interesting? I can't believe they're playing XCOM. RM Star. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could play some XCOM ourselves at some point. Oh, I hope there's XCOM hidden in this game. Could you imagine if like Open XCOM was in this somewhere? <laughs> like, that, that would be great. That would, that would be the best. Um, okay, so let's just leave. We did a scan when we first turned up, so let's disconnect and get to the mail server. Yeah, internal investigations. Okay, I'm going to reply to this, put the additional details in. Now, I've got a few numbers here. 4991, uh, 1229, 1300, 1983, and... 2133. Three. Okay, I remembered all of those. Let's add all those on and send it. Internal investigate. Excellent work, civilian. You didn't leave anything to chance and, and it paid off. It, uh, this all looks in order. Exact sort of files I was hoping uh, we'd see working on. Uh, hopefully, the team's diligence in pursuing these projects will give us an edge in future investigations. Wait, wait, wait. XC project. XCOM project. Ah, of course. By Bradford. It's Bradford. Come on. It's, ah, God, it's central. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what I'm going on about, go play XCOM. It's awesome. It's all about Bradford. Well, it's not all about Bradford. It's all about Commander. But Bradford, man. Bradford. Okay, cool. That was good. Contract successful. Um, isn't that... Congratulations. Your client has... Uh, has Let me try that again. Congratulations! The client of your recent contract has reported a success and is pleased with your work. You are now uh, you are now free to accept further contracts from the client... Uh, from the contract database. Your current ranking is one... I am number one! I don't know if this is like good or not. Uh, okay, that's cool. Um, aggression must be punished. Hacks or elite skills. You've proved yourself very capable in a very small amount of time. I'm impressed. Well, you know, I've got some skills. It's in the name. There's, re there's something that's been bothering me for a while and I'd like you to help me with it. A relatively new but apparently talented hacker by the handle, oh man, Nikes, Nax, Nayaxi? I don't know. Has been a bit over aggressive. He claims to have recently stolen a great deal of internal data from Microsoft. Entropy is actively trying to improve the view of the hacking community in the eyes of the public. Just because our methods can be uh, illegitimate does not mean our intentions are to harm. Nyx is doing a lot of damage to this effort. I would like you to delete what he stole. The IP he used to access the servers it is attached. The archive should be on that note on that node somewhere. A recently acquired program has been added to the asset asset server to aid you. Okay, so let's uh, first grab that, and we're going to go to the asset server. So somewhere in here, we got bin. What have we got? This one. SMT prover flow. What? SMTP overflow. What? What's that? What is that? SCP SMT. Yeah, let's let's grab that. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what it does. Someone someone give me some information here. SMT overflow. Uh, let's 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 SMT overflow. I mean, can we get a help? Can we get a help? Is this the wrong way around? Uh, no. Okay, let's try it this way. Help SMT. No, uh, I'm pretty sure we tried that before actually, and it failed me last time as well. Okay, as always, there is no reason to, but we're going to delete all the logs because I don't like leaving trace of me behind. Of course, <coughs> excuse me, when I disconnect and reconnect, the first thing it does is tell me that I have disconnected. So there is a trace of me being here. All right, let's go to the proxy node. Okay, let's probe. What have you got for me, dude? What have you got? We've got a proxy, so let's get all those. The track, the trace has started. SMTP's mail server, okay. Uh, so as we were saying, let's do the SMT. Uh, I'm supposed to put in a uh, 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Port number there. We also want to do the SSH uh, 22 and the FTP 21. Now, how much RAM do I have? I don't have enough RAM, but we can definitely wait. That's that dealt with. So let's start the other one up. Yeah, we've got two of the three so far. Just, just got to get those programs running. All about getting those programs running. I wonder how I get more RAM. I mean, who's got 761 megabytes of RAM nowadays? I'm pretty sure everyone's got like gigs and gigs and gigs of RAM. Port hacks. Uh, we got it all, so let's make it work. Oh yeah, we are looking for... Oh man, what are we looking for? View file system. Ooh. Uh, that went beep at me for some reason. Uh, something from Microsoft. Something from Microsoft. No, that's the mail server. I didn't want that. Uh, view file system. Oh, did it disconnect us? Did it... Oh, man. Okay, we're going to do this again then. It's going to take a, a little time, unfortunately. Uh, we've got to start with a probe. No, we don't, well, we don't have to start with the pro, but it does help. And then we start those two going, uh, and somewhere in here we should be able to start these programs. Let's just wait for that to click all the way across, and let's get these going. Do you reckon I could use other other programs, other, sorry, shells, my, my little botnet back here, to do this work for me? That would be nice if I could. That would be very nice if we could. Uh, the FTP bounce is also going to have to be one we need to do, and then we could do a port hack again as soon as this all runs over. This one's a little bit more complex than the last time. In fact, it's quite a lot more complex than the last time, but this should be all good. We've still got 64, 63, 62 seconds. If, if this FTP server could just hurry up and be done, then I will be a happy man. Okay, we're going to port hack our way in there. I wonder how I get the uh, HTTP web server uh, in of software okay view the file system let's see what we've got here well blatantly we want that uh so we want to scp this because why would we not want to copy uh and then we're gonna delete it as soon as that there we go transfer is complete let's delete all that is there anything else we're gonna have to delete um lots of logs obviously but beyond that i mean that's literally all that's on here okay rm start did i just get a bit of what well, who sent, who sent me an email? I've got a feeling I know who sent me an email. It's not probably going to... It's not going to be the person I want. Connection routed 13794. Oh, maybe I should have taken that. Oh, that's where we are at. Oh, easy. Easy with your beeping. Disconnect. So that was actually this server that I was like, oh, I wonder where that's from. What? I, this can... What? External... How do, how do I deal with this? What? I I'm not sure i'm not sure what we do here um i am disconnected oh man something bad is happening let's go and have a look at our email oh it's closed me out stop a program is detected and hacks not has been shut down to prevent damage from your foot oh man bad things happen guys bad things just happened what happened here why couldn't I protect myself? I should have left a shell running on my machine. We know this is a thing. We could have set a trap up. Error. Unable to load system file, access server. Unable to locate the file. Oh, gosh. What's going on down the bottom of my screen there? What are we doing? Uh, default terminal mode. Boot complete. Welcome back. And we've stolen all your, your, your stuff. Is this what's going on? Hello? Initializing. Dot, 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 dot. Loading modules. Loading nodes. Have we, have we literally been thrown back to the beginning? Reticulating spines. Oh, man. I don't like this. Unable to load system fire. Lo locate and restore a valid X file uh, in the system folder. I, ca I can't do anything from the outside, guys. Stop telling me I need to locate stuff. I can't find it if I can't do it, if I can't get to my machine. I wonder if there's like a, a sister program you can run on like your phone or whatever. For a command list, type help. Okay, that's the help. Uh Oh man, okay. Well, th this is no good. Uh let's let's start with an LS. What have we got here? Home log bis at the bis and sis. Okay. Well, we want to try and what did it say further up? How do I Oh, get out of my way. Get out of my way. How do we look further up and down? Um consider examining reports in log for problem and source. So, let's go cd log. Wait, wait. slash log. There's going to be like a ha-ha-ha file, right? Something like that. Uh, kernel panic fatal trap. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I can read in this connection from. Is that from us? Fifty. I'm pretty pretty sure that's us, man. So we've got a an IP address to go to. Man, this this suddenly got very very awkward, didn't it? Okay, let let's try and figure out what we can do about this. I would like to go and have a look in CD uh, slash home. Let's just have a look around and see what we've got here. Um, stash misc. Mm, do we do we want to? Let's have a look in misc just in case someone's put something in there. Uh, invalid path. Have I typed that wrong? Misc. No, it's CD slash misc. Is that not the right CD misc? Invalid path. Ah, huh? look, you can you can see it. Oh, I don't have a, a, a mouse po pointer at the moment, but you can see it right there, right there. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Can, can we? Oh, it's not going to tell tell me again what I'm supposed to do here, is it? Uh, I wish I'd taken better note before I typed the help file out. Connect. Let, let's have a look. File deleted by one five four dot one eight six dot 182.93 let's see what happens when we connect to that connecting to proxy node is that the guy we just connect okay right so let's uh, list here insufficient privileges okay cd slash home can we get in there insufficient privileges okay fine pc we have disconnected completely I'm, I'm really not sure what we're supposed to be doing here at all so, after panicking a bit and going through a reboot and really actually going, oh, oh, has it locked me out? Has this, is this it? Is this the end of the game? No, it's not the end of the game. So if we go into uh, CD dot... Was it bat? Oh, I'm not ticking. Why am I not clicking? If we go to CD forward slash bin, all our binary folders, and have a look in here, you can see that we still have access to everything we need. Hmm. Now, if we go uh, cd double dot cd, uh, we can't do it in one command, cd slash logs, it shows us here that we have an IP to work with. So we're going to go connect IP, uh, I don't need to do the IP, connect 154.186.1. Eight two dot nine three. So we did this bit before, but whenever we trying to do uh, dot sys cd, oh, we got insufficient privileges. But wait, we can do some more. What we can do is we run a probe, right? We know how to run a probe. Literally everything we know here, we we can already do. So an SSH crack we can do on the twenty two. And what do you know? Before we know what's going on, well, unfortunately, there's not a nice little display showing here. So we just got to wait for the assets, the secure shell crack to complete. And there we go. It is finished. Wonderful. So we should now be able to go LS and show us the insufficient pro ah, because there is something else we didn't do. Of course, it is the port hack. Got to remember all these steps, every single one of them. I suppose this is kind of what this is. It's a bit of a, a test to see if you can remember everything you've run up to now. So we have connected to proxy node. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's pretty good. That should give us. I don't know. Does it? Does it give us? Privileges? It does. Okay, so let's go CD sys. Uh, we want to list it all out again. Uh, SCP to copy, of course. We want the X server, and we want to copy it into our sys folder. Transfer complete. Let's let's try a reboot this time and see what happens. For three, two, one. I'm going to speed up this re this output. Oh, there was there was a flash. There was flash of colours. Boot complete without any errors. Wonderful. And, oh, look at this. We've got ourselves a shiny new outlay. Oh, layout, I suppose, would be the way to put those words. Wow. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this slightly worrying end to this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to continue going on and try and find out who hacked us and how to, like, protect against that and all sorts of things like that. So I'll see you then. But we're gonna do that! Bye! Yeah, I really do like this green though.